Metallica have released their masterclass. So, should I delete my channel then? Uh, you, you might regret it. Hi friends, it's Andriy Vasilenko and welcome to Metallic Geek. And welcome to my last video in this house, in this balcony, with this curtain, because tomorrow I'm moving houses and moving cities. And so yeah, enjoy this last video, maybe even in this style, this talking Metallica style, because this year 2021 was the phasing out of YouTube videos and I'm moving more to podcasts. So we've been making this Metallica talking video since 2016 and the goal of Metallica Geek, this project, was to gather this crumbles of information of Metallica songwriting, of what they were thinking when assembling the compositions, when coming up with the legendary riffs for the first time, when the hands just played this lick that would become so iconic. Even though the songs are on the surface, they are everywhere, everyone is talking about them, covering them, but the stories behind them, that's another story. No pun intended. But this kind of information is so dispersed all over the place. In different interviews, one question, one part of the answer was about the songwriting. But now it may have changed. Because Metallica, the f***ing band, have released their f***ing masterclass. And the f***ing part in the f***ing masterclass could mean other good or bad kind of f***ing. In this video you learn which of the f***ing I mean. And you learn about it in like 30 seconds, but, but still stick to the end of the video to learn, say, about if, if I'm gay. This is an interesting subject. So what is this masterclass? It consists of 15 videos of almost 3 hour lengths in total, intro, 13 lessons, and the last one is Metallica's S. And the last one is Metallica's S. Pledge. And the last one is Metallica's exclusive half an hour concert for Masterclass, where they played 6 songs. So what topics did Metallica cover? Basically everything, from songwriting to being a band and advice to young musicians, how to get along, how to keep creating and how to make it. This is something Metallica should have done long ago, they have done it in different forms, but to in little pieces, but still there was no this one solid course with the band themselves talking, all the details, how they are. The Metallica podcast to a lot of people, a lot of Metallica fans, it was kind of disappointing. The first episode of it was really exciting, it was hype, but after that it was like... And the production ruined the whole story. I reviewed the podcast, the first four episodes, then I gave up. Uh, link uh, somewhere here. Just witness yourself the level of excitement going down with every new episode, a level of being pissed off increasing. So, the Metallica podcast kinda lowered my expectations, lowered my hopes that Metallica would actually release something, something interesting and not overproduced. And when the masterclass was announced, that was something I was the most suspicious about. Like, is that gonna be like the Metallica podcast? Like, it was not. Maybe the lowered expectations helped, but first of all, in comparison to the Metallica podcast, the editors let the band just talk. No cuts, no abrupt fucking ear rapes. They just talk their shit. And on top of being really moderate in the editing, not annoying, just the good flow, the storytelling is great. And they're really like talking to you, to the fan, to a musician, like you are in the room with them. Yeah, sometimes Lars and Kirk, they were like repeating themselves like five times the same thought. I like uh, talking. At least Robert and James were always to the point. And one episode is really, is really standing out. When they talk about the connection on the stage, that Lars and James have such a really like mind reading. They know each other's mood. They know how to adapt to each other on stage. He has a tendency, I know, to just end up going faster than he thinks he's going faster. I think he does that in his car as well. I will try and drag it back a little bit because I know he's hearing me and then he'll, oh, okay, and then he'll, he'll pull it back a little bit. That was the best two minutes of Metallica talk I've ever heard. Man. And among these 15 videos were three songs deconstructed by the band. Master of Puppets, One, and even Enter Sandman, yeah. And you may think there's nothing to learn about Enter Sandman after all these decades. They talk about it all the time. Every time Metallica talks about songwriting, Sandman is the song to go. Like they wanted to write a simple song based on one riff 
Kirk Hammond wrote the riff and initially the riff sounded not like on the studio version. But still, in this course, in this video, they shared at least one new fact about Sandman. We wrote that song basically in an afternoon. Which is exactly one whole new fact more than in the entire The Black Album podcast. And actually, in the episode about one, we got a new discovery too. Lars wrote the machine gun pattern. I was really into coming up with these kind of drum riffs and then James would kind of just play something with uh, drum patterns and Bullet the Cat, Bullet the Cat was not, oh, machine gun, it was just kind of in my head. Man, that's kind of big deal. The only kind of disappointing, not disappointing, but uh, all right, parts of the masterclass are, I guess, two episodes. First, Kirk Hammett explaining how to build a solo based on blues. My concept of a solo is a musical opportunity to make a statement. He's talking about how he's excited to be a better improviser, not to work on the solos for weeks on end, but just go to the studio and just let it out. It's basically Kirk Hammett for six minutes straight making excuses that he does not want to do his homework. <laughs> he really still must have the PTSD after working with Bob Rock. And another one which was like, meh, was Bass Trujillo explaining Metallica bass tone. Leslie sound, which is... And the role of bass in Metallica, how to make it fit, how to be a proper metal bassist, to be moderate, to want where to go simple and sometimes to go a bit crazy with the bass. Nothing new, serious, what if I was Metallica bassist? Somewhere here, and I explained this, the same philosophy. And about the tone, he shows his pedal board, distortion and uh, delay and stuff. I don't really care about it. As long as distortion is good, I'm, I'm good with it. But uh, about Jason's and Cliff Burton's stuff, actually they did not mention Jason and Cliff a single time in the masterclass. They show them in the clips from the live performances from the 80s, 90s, but uh, not a single mention of that kind of legacy. Robert is, even though he's my hero, Robert plays them differently. And Jason played differently Cliff's line, so that's not... Mm. But that means that I won't delete this channel. We will keep exploring it, at least in the form of podcast. And speaking of the podcast, the latest episode is about Metallica's family tree, which is about the bands that are related to Metallica the most. We built a tree and gave them different tiers. And the next episode is about what to expect from Metallica's 40th anniversary concert, which is going to take place in December. Are they gonna play rare songs? Are they gonna play Fixer? Well, you'll learn my thoughts. Link to the podcast in description. And yeah, speaking of Metallica anniversary concert, I had a chance to go there. But you know, I live in Ukraine and I, and I need visa to go to America. And now getting visa to the USA is almost impossible. So I'm not making it. But in the case you are, I have a way you could bring some of Metallica Geek with you. It's a piece of merch. And if you are not going, well, the Christmas is coming, yeah? Link in the description to order it and use a promo code HUI1 for a 15% discount. Expired December 1st. So hurry up and also hurry up because the Christmas time is coming and deliveries are gonna be overloaded. Um, which leads us to another question. If it's actually worth the money? Because a lot of fans complained it's really expensive. The website's business uh, scheme is that you pay an annual sum to access the entire collection of all the courses but all the different amazing people, not only Metallica, you pay for the entire site, usage for one entire year. And I would be actually completely right with that had not they done this little trick. They put it like it costs 15 bucks a month, but there's asterisks or something like that, it's actually 100 80 bucks a year. Maybe your uh, marketing team says that's uh, really bringing more subscriptions and stuff, but it's really fucking annoying. That's actually the first impression I got from the website. And the guys are talking about this masterclass, they share this thought. The good thing is that you can have your money back within 30 days, so you can pay the annual fee. And if you don't find the entire site worth your money, if you came only for Metallica and the, and the rest of courses is... Mm, you can get your money back. It's actually fair, I think. And now just say goodbye to this balcony. The entire era is closing now.
Thanks for watching, it's Andriy Vasilenko and be in metal, friends. Guess what? <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs>